How are we doing folks? Hope you're all well. Welcome back to another film. We are in the fantastic English Lake District and it's stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. What a day. We've had a break in the weather and we're out on an overnighter. So we've got, I don't know if you can see it up there, a new mode of transport. We'll show you that in a minute, but let's have a look down here. This is my launch point. Well, that might give you a clue as to what the new mode of transport is. But so we're on we're on Hull's water, and I'm meeting up with Rick, my cousin Rick, who you'll have seen before, no doubt, in other films. But look at that! Look at that! It's absolutely stunning, and it's nearly flat calm, which is good. So we're going to get some uh, we're going to get some gear on. We're going to get some better clothes on and we're gonna do an overnight camp but let's get up here and have a look at our new craft excuse the road noise but there she is on top of the car look at that beauty we've got ourselves a canoe not a new one but we're going to show you that in a bit it's new to me anyway but there you go 16 foot prospector and it's going to be ace for doing some photography trips so we'll get that off now get some gear on get it loaded up and uh yeah we'll do some paddling see you in a bit That's better. So we're eventually on the water, loaded up. Floats like a dream. Really nice paddling as well. So you might be wondering why have I got myself a, a canoe? Well, I was going to build another one. I built one about ten years ago, and in my infinite wisdom, I ended up selling it. Regret it ever since, and. Uh, it's just having the time. When I'm retired, I'll build another one probably, a nice wooden one. But for now, we've got this. So it's, um, it's a Royal X, 16 foot prospector. And like I said, you might be wondering, what's he got a canoe for? Well, it's amazing how much stuff you can load in one of these things. And I'll show you now, actually. I mean, the place where we're going, it's, it's pretty inaccessible. And it kind of come to my mind when I were up in Scotland last, you know, I'm thinking there were some fantastic locations that I thought, you know, I could do four or five days here, camped up. Um, but it's getting the gear there, isn't it? You know what I mean? Because, well, you've seen how much stuff I carry on a day trip. Never mind going on a on a bloody five or six day. You know, you've you've got your accommodation, you've got your your tent, your stove, all your food, your water. And then all your camera gear and you know etc etc. So a canoe is a fantastic way of getting your gear over, and um, you know you can you can take everything you need and more. So that's why we've got this. So I bought it locally, bought it second hand. Don't know how old it is, but it's uh, it's a Royal X, so it's relatively light for the size of it. 
you don't make Rolex anymore. So we had to do a bit of work on it. I'll put a few pictures on now. When I got it home, it wasn't, uh, I think I was looking at it through rose tinted glasses. And I got it home and it needed a bit of work, needed a bit of fettling up. So we took the timber off, got some nice light ash and replicated what I'd taken off. I put a sailing thwart on it and I put new handles on the ends and I put a, a yoke, a central yoke. The seats are all right, to be honest, um, but I probably will change them so they all match. But for now, it's just fantastic to get out on the water. And we've got a trip coming up as well at the end of May, which I'll talk about later when Rick's down. So for now, we're just gonna have a paddle on this beautiful piece of water up in the lakes. Soak it all in. Got the fishing rod with us. So we might have a little chuck out after. See if we can get some perch or trout would be nice, wouldn't it? A trout on the open fire, but you never know. But yeah. Let's just soak in this scenery. Make the most of this nice weather for a change. Catch you in a bit. We've had a little move, just moved a little bit further down shore. Just get some firewood ready, ready for the night. It's surprising how much firewood you go through, so it's important to get a good stock of this. You don't want to be rooting around when it's dark, so it's it's 20 past three now, so we've probably only got a couple of hours left of light. So we'll go and get a good store of firewood. There's plenty of trees that have come down, some old dead ones as well, so it's nice and dry, not some of it is. We've just moved down the down a little bit. It's a little bit more sheltered here, and so hopefully that wind's not going to come battering down in the night. Great in it. That's our bed for the night. Sorted. Rick's not arrived yet. That's our vista. Not bad, is it? So yeah, simple setup tonight, just got the canoe on its side, got the tarp over it and we haven't quite made our bed yet but we'll get that sorted soon, we're going to get a brew on now. Got a decent pile of wood, not as much as I'd like but we might, we'll nip and get some more after but for now, time for a brew. Let's get a brew on.
か Cheers, everyone. What a fantastic spot. I don't know if you can see this, well you might not be able to through the smoke. I'm trying to get the fire going. There's a barn owl, literally. <laughs> Just oh, let me try and get out of this smoke. The wood's so wet. There he is. You just see him on the there. Unbelievable. I haven't brought the camera, which is about right, isn't it? We were just on a try the canoe out trip. There's a barn owl and he's been flying around for the last, I'd say probably 15, 20 minutes. Would you credit it? So if I brought my camera, I would probably have got some really nice shots of that. It's just been, it's just been hunting around in the bracken. Beautiful, just on the skyline there now. I don't know if you can make it out because I've got a, I've got an 18 mil lens on which is super wide angle. So one of them in it. Anyway, fire's going now. There we go. Got the fire going. I say the wood's a bit damp, but we've got there in the end. There you go, home from home. Snug as a bug in a rug. That's it for tonight folks, we are calling it a do because the weather has beaten us, it's, uh, we looked on the forecast and it was supposed to be a right nice evening and it's uh, it's not, <laughs> it's coming, we've had some good scram, we've had a good natter, fire's still going, that's still holding on in there but tomorrow's a better forecast so hopefully it's only, it's only quarter to nine and turning in so I just had to get the get the tarp down a bit lower because the, the wind's blowing in the side it's proper cold as well real cold northerly wind so up early in the morning we'll get them fishing rods out get a bit of bit of breakfast cooked up we'll get some more more wood on and uh 
yeah, hopefully we'll uh, we'll have a few fish tomorrow. You never know. All right, see you morning. See you morning, Rick. We've never even been here. <laughs> Leave no trace. There we go, that's it. Road camp. 
we've left no trace, you'd never know we've been here. What a fantastic night. It's a bit cold, the sun's out now. I'm just gonna head down the down the lake, do a little spot fishing. Fantastic. Wind's picked up a bit today. Bit of a chop. A bit of a bit of a fight into the breeze. behind this Somebody else I want to mention, we're on a, um, for those of you that follow the channel, you might remember we did a trip last year and uh, we did the the Caledonian Canal and Loch Ness, we did the Great Glen Canoe Trail and we raised a lot of money for the Alzheimer's Society, over £15,000. Anyway, this year we're doing another one. So, Rick, who I've just uh, done the overnighter with, my cousin Rick, he's chosen cancer research this year because Rick's had cancer twice and he's kicked its ass but it wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for the fantastic research and you know all the um, the NHS and all the amazing people that work and research in the fight against cancer and it's it's serious stuff in it so this year we're doing the um, we're doing the Lock Shield circuit, so we're doing that at the end of May. Now there's there's a few of the usual faces on it, and a few new lads as well. So what I want you to do, if you'd be so kind, is to head over to the Just Giving page, and I'm going to put a link to that at the end of the uh, well in the description. I'll pop it on the the screen as well. <clears throat> so anyone that wants to donate no matter how little honestly it doesn't matter even if it's pence 10p 50p whatever if you could just donate a little bit i know times are times are right aren't they they are for everybody but you know what i mean it's um it's a serious thing is is cancer research and every penny helps <clears throat> you know it might it might go to help one of you one day you never know so anything will be appreciated so i'll put the link to to the just giving page and that's going to be happening at the end of may really looking forward to it i hope we get some weather like this it will be absolutely fantastic so we're this time i struggled last time with the camera i really did but i'm hoping to trim my gear down a bit so we'll have space for the camera and we're going to make time to get some pictures next time so we're up in the up in the highlands again you never know what we'll see so that's my little my little message for this film it seemed appropriate because we're out on the canoe and uh yeah anything that you could offer would be absolutely fantastic so oh, the water on lens there we go that's better well that concludes our our little canoe trip so it wasn't, uh, it was kind of photography related because the reason I got this, it's, it's going to be a good tool, definitely a good tool in the arsenal for getting to, you know, some really remote places and re places where I can pack the, pack the canoe up with gear, you know, tent, tent stove, you know, I'm getting, a, I'm getting one of them hot tents soon. So for winter expeditions, you know, up in Scotland, get it loaded up, and you can paddle to your heart's content with a, a canoe full of gear, you know, a week's provisions, and you can get into some really 
nice spots. You know, I were up on um, what was it? I forget what lock it were now. One at locks up in Scotland anyway last year. Was it lock long? And right up at the top end, a place that was really inaccessible by road, and there were some fantastic spots. You know, brilliant places for there were egrets and bitterns, kingfishers. You know, and you can get right into the reeds. You could get into the reeds with, you know, on your canoe, just, uh, you know, get anchored down if you will, put a camo net, you can lie flat in the canoe with your camera set up, and you, you're right there, aren't you? So, I mean, I didn't bring the, unfortunately, I didn't bring the camera with me, which was a major error on my part, to be honest, because last night when I got set up and I was waiting for Rick to turn up, and I was watching a barn owl and I just did not. It was the last place I expected to see a barn owl flying around. It was hunted in the bracken. It was fantastic to see it and I was gutted because I only had I only had my vlogging camera. Um which one of them. And then this morning we were having breakfast and there was a dipper, you know, just flitting along the foreshore. And again, I didn't really expect to see dippers on this on the side of, you know, a lakeland lake um you know generally the only other time i've seen um dippers is on the rivers you know on the fast flowing rivers and it was just working its way along the foreshore you know going from rock to rock and again i could have got some <laughs> i could have got some great pictures but it don't matter we've been out haven't we and we've got the memories and that's all it's about it's just just getting out and enjoying yourself that's what it's about isn't it immersing yourself in nature just being at one with Mother Nature, it's absolutely fantastic. This is just amazing. I'm looking up on the mountain tops now and there's a fresh coating of snow. We didn't get any snow down here at uh, lakeside level. We just got rain last night, but today it's been absolutely spectacular. So that's me, done for another one. Right, signing off, I'm paddling back now. Get the car loaded off, back to sunny Lancashire. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.